Now let's talk about pupils. Here we have a pen light. On the side of your pen light you have a pupil gauge and on the clip right here that's what turns on and off the light. Now let's talk about how you're going to measure your patient's pupils. Alright, although our mannequin here doesn't have any eyes, it'll still work for demonstration purposes. In order to determine the size of the pupils, you will apply the gauge next to the pupils to see what size they are. The sizes really range from 2 all the way to 9 millimeters. And in order to determine if their pupils are equally reactive to light, or pearl as we call it, we will apply light stimulus to each eye in the following fashion. Going underneath, we'll start off with the right eye, applying light in just a semicircular fashion. You don't want to shine it directly in the eye. I'm looking for this eye to constrict. I want the pupil to get smaller because I'm applying a light stimulus. It should get smaller. Now I'm going to do that again, but instead of looking at the right eye, I'm looking at the left eye. I'm looking to see if the left eye also constricts and gets smaller. That's called consensual reflex, and we want there to be consensual reflex. When you apply light stimulus to this eye, you should see a reaction in this eye. Now we'll test the left eye. So we'll go over here, apply light stimulus underneath, make sure that constricts, go on so now we'll go to the left eye. Again, we will apply light stimulus to see if the left eye constricts, followed by light stimulus to the left eye again to see if the right eye is constricting. We will document this as the pupils are pearl if they are equally reactive to light. We can say that the pupils are pearl at whatever millimeter size was indicated prior to the application of light. Looking at pupils for the study guide here, there's three different lines with a couple different columns here. Let me explain what's going on. So size and reactivity, this is one section. Pearl, this is another section. So we only document size and reactivity if the pupils are of unequal sizes. So for example, you look at your pupillary gauge on your pen light, the right eye is at a four, the left eye is at a seven. They are unequal. Therefore, they are no longer pearl. They're unequal. So now we have to document each eye separately. So we would write four on the right, seven on the left, and then we would shine the light exactly how we did to check if they're pearl, but now we're simply checking to see if they react. If they react, we'll put a plus. If they do not react, we'll put a minus. But if you shown the light, but if you check their pupils and they were at four millimeters, both sides were equal and they both reacted to light, you would document that they are pearl at four millimeters. And that's only if both eyes are equal and reactive. And you want to document this number. This is the number before you shine the light. So there were a four, then you shine the light, it might drop down to a three or a two. Don't document three or two, we document what it was before the light, so four millimeters. That's it for pupils. If you guys have any questions, let me know.